Hello, my name is Bruce. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to work with the grid point of view or POV setup and the page axis. This is the fifth of six tutorials for designing reports with the Financial Reporting Web Studio. To select member and member display properties in the grid POV, I'll select the grid point of view setup option by right clicking on the corner of the grid object to activate menu options. I'll scroll to the balance amount dimension and select to lock the member selection of actual that I made in the previous tutorial. This setting prevents users from changing the balance amount type after viewing the report. Next, I'll set a couple of options from the grid properties pane. I'll select the drill through option to permit users to drill down to the general ledger transaction data. I'll also set a text option for zero values. I'll go to the suppression setting and change the hashtag zero default to zero. I could also suppress the display of zero value rows, missing data rows, and error data rows if necessary. Next, I'll set a runtime prompt for my page dimension of company. Setting a prompt gives me the flexibility to select any company or combination of companies for my report at runtime. I'll start by removing the default company selection. I would like to restrict the valid list of companies that can be selected at runtime to two specific companies. To do this, I'll select Prompt for Company and add it to the Selection section. When I click OK to the Select Member window, the Define Prompt window displays. Next, I'll click on the Choice List lookup. I'll remove the default company selection. I'll now select the two companies that I want to restrict to my report. To make the prompt more user friendly, I'll select alias so the actual company label is displayed in the prompt list of values rather than a numeric company value. Next, I'll select a page property. I'll also assign the alias as the default so each page of the report will show the name of the company rather than the number value. Finally, I'm going to set some heading row properties. I want all my data rows to have the same settings so I'll use the control key to select all four of them. I'll select alias as a default so each row displays the revenue and expense name rather than the account. Because the accounts are parent values, I'll select the allow expansion option so the user can expand to the detailed child values. Now that I've finished with my settings, I'll save my work. Finally, I'll preview my report to see the changes made by these new settings. Notice that I've been prompted for a company. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to add formats and graphs to a report. Thank you. Mm -hmm.